Hey guys, Itaewon Sammy, Sri Lanka Sammy. I'm back with you today. I want to say, first of all, thank you to everyone who is commenting, liking, sharing, uh, following, uh, all of that stuff. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I am combating the power cuts uh, in Sri Lanka. So today is uh, April... I don't know what day it is. April 6, April 7, April 8. Anyway, today we are installing solar panels. A solar panel system. Okay, and this is a really good system. We have not one, not two, not three, four panels and I think two banks of batteries. So we ordered this, my family ordered this about a month ago when the power outages started happening because on my recommendation and my my uncle's recommendation um, the situation is I could see it coming and they agreed uh, that there would be no fuel for generators you couldn't get a generator couldn't get a generator if our lives depended on it um, and uh, then I saw the fuel crisis happening and I said, we have to go solar, even though it's more expensive. So they are up on the roof. I'm not going to be able to get up there. Maybe I'll put the drone up a little bit later when they're done, when they get the panels up there, but it's up there. So um, let's see if I'll walk over here, see if we can see them. Anyway, um, there are uh, four panels, two banks of batteries. Um, and the electricity will go back into the uh, grid and will be paid back for it. So let's see. Can we see them? No, they're on the other side. They're on the other side of that area there. So probably won't be able to see them. Oh, there's the guy. So that's... Can you see him? Yeah, there he is. Right there. Right there. So he's... They're putting the panels on the back side of the house so I can't our backyard is uh, blocked off by another house on the other side so I uh, want to say he's inside he's inside I think so let me uh, follow up with you guys in just one second yeah sorry for the interruption uh, one of the guys had to get the other guy so they're planning on where to put the inverter and the 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 motherboard and the batteries those are all being set up in the kitchen area because as I said it's in the back of the house in the back of the house so the wiring and all will go down into the back of the house where the kitchen is so I'm gonna report back once that's installed so today is Thursday noonish as you can tell the Sun is straight up one of the things I love about Sri Lanka we're 300 kilometers from the equator, so the sun goes straight up. In Korea, or anywhere I've lived in the northern hemisphere, the sun, you know, goes in an arc along the lower part of the sky, and especially the moon. The moon is incredible here. So anyways, I di digress. So I'm really happy with this because currently, Right now, as of noon, we're under a power outage for four hours, from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. And that is such a pain because it's so hot. There's no fans. Ugh. So I'm so happy this is coming. So what's going to happen is, as you can see the house in the background there, what's going to happen is that the guys, and you can see them there, that's it. It's a multi layered roof so you can see them there I think right there so uh, on one part of the roof they're going to be putting all of the equipment there and then running it down so if you can see this area is where they're gonna run it down and here is where the kitchen is so that window right there is where they're going to drill through and go into the kitchen. Into the back of the kitchen. So that's a perfect place to put the panels. Anyway, um, 
today is Thursday. They're going to come in and put all the, install all the things, run all the wiring, and then the inverters are going to come in on Saturday. So by Saturday night, we will have the system connected. Uh, the final approval will come within a few weeks from the uh, electrical board. And that's when we will be feeding into the into the network. But we will have power. Uh, what I mean is we will have um, uh, 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 battery power from solar. Now, here's the other funny thing is that um, uh, after today, it's going to be according to the weather forecast it's going to be um, pouring rain and cloudy for the next five to seven days according to the weather forecast now um, I asked the questions do the batteries get charged and just like your phone you can charge it from a power bank or from the grid so the batteries will always be topped up to a hundred percent when there is solar and electricity at the same time. So it will, based on the technology, it will charge itself via solar first. And when there's not enough solar, it will charge itself up via battery so that it is always topped up to 100%. Any excess after 100% that is generated by the solar goes back into the into the grid so that is a very efficient way of keeping the batteries at a hundred percent so that when the power does go out at whatever time we will have 12 to 14 hours of electricity which is excellent excellent now it doesn't mean we can run air conditioners microwaves vacuum cleaners uh, it means 12 hours of lights, fans, and my computer. You know, uh, those kinds of things. Uh, electrical grills in the kitchen, fans, lights, those types of simple, simple things. And the number one thing is the fans. <laughs> it is so hot. Uh, I'm, even though I'm in the sun, there's a nice breeze. Maybe you can hear it and it's keeping me cool because it is hot inside the house. But I gotta get in the shade because I'm not wearing any sunscreen. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get back to you guys once this is done and uh, we'll talk a little bit later. Sri Lanka Sammy, I'm out. Hey guys, so here is the final solar power setup. So we got four batteries set up. Uh, eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a shelf built here. Um, the inverter came in. This is the part right here that we were waiting for. Everything else was installed. This was installed before the solar panels outside, as you saw, were installed. The batteries were delivered. It's just this box here that was, um, we were waiting for from China. And it has been March, April, May, two months since we waited for this box. So. Basically, if you can see here, orange light means fully charged. It's receiving energy and it's outputting. So it is outputting, as you can see it says load. Right now, my lights and my computer are being powered by this battery. I am not using electricity from the electrical grid because I am inputting more than I'm outputting. Uh, third, looks like um, 19 point whatever volts are coming in more than going out. So 239 are coming in, 220 are going out. And the battery is fully charged at 25 volts. So this system basically what it does is it collects energy and stores it in the battery as energy is being used it is used from the battery first and then topped up now depending on how much input there is it'll either cycle to the as you can see right now it's charging okay 
the battery is charging. It's at 99% and it's charging. <clears throat> so um, this does not return extra power to the um, grid. So we don't make money from extra juice, extra electricity. Uh, it just gets wasted, I guess. Uh, if we're, nobody's here and the power is on, um, you know, uh, but as you can see, it's cloudy today. It's overcast. I don't know. Sorry, you can't see that. There you go. It's overcast. So basically, um, the electricity works well. Hey guys, so I'll just finish up uh, by saying that uh, the electric system works well. Um, I've only had it for a couple of days, but we'll see what happens. I did have a little problem the first day because I was using the air conditioner while we were having a power cut. And the system, can the inverter cannot support the load or the you know the the power that is required for an, uh, a heavy duty uh, electrical device like that that you know uses you know it powers on and it cycles up and down so he has said not to use the dishwasher or microwave or washing machine or vacuum cleaner or air con fans lights computer not a problem radio tv uh, internet, every single light in the house, every single fan, toaster, uh, rice cooker, no problems. But, um, you know, it's not 100% perfect, but it's 99.9. .9. And because I have the uninterrupted power supply, uh, what that means is that any dips is controlled by my UPS, uh, uninterrupted power supply and surge protector. So when it does dip, in, if I didn't have this, I would lose the computer every whatever, whenever it happens. It happens about a few times a day. It could be annoying if you have something that resets, but he is coming to tweak the system uh, later this week. Um, I will not post information about the cost or the uh, location, the person, uh, because I haven't received permission from them uh, so if you do want I can provide that information in a personal uh, uh, chat so please uh, contact me and I will provide that information uh, the cost was approximately three four five six seven hundred thousand rupees uh, which works out to be I don't know <laughs> a few thousand about three or four thousand dollars uh, to set it up, we did get a bigger system than normal. So uh, we can run eight to 10 hours, even longer, uh, uh, um, if I don't use a lot of light um, uh, uh, or, or the computer or what have you. But uh, on average, eight hours we can use. So yeah, I, I'm happy and this is why I'm back home and not still at the hotel. Sri Lanka Sammy, hoping you guys are all safe and well. I'm out.